Put a solution of resin and alcohol in the siltation tube and let it sit for two days. I opened the valve and let it flow until it turned clear. And this is how much alcohol came out with the silt at the bottom. And the rest of this alcohol is relatively silt free. I'm going to fill up my second graduated cylinder with this alcohol here. It's flowing kind of slow because I forgot to take the cap off the top. Now we've got a good flow rate. I just dumped the rest of the alcohol directly back into my uh, canister here. And it's basically ready to go. Cover the top of these guys with press and seal to keep the alcohol from evaporating. And we're going to let this sit for another day or two. And then I can pour the alcohol off the top and collect any last resin residue at the very bottom. All right, it's been several days. The silt is down at the bottom. The nice thing about these graduated cylinders is that you can pour without disturbing the silt too much. So basically I'm pouring here and trying not to touch the silt. There it starts to fall off. So now we have to watch that silt as it moves along there. You can see it's mostly just falling right at the end. And I just have to watch it as it moves along the tube. And that's right there how much gets left in the graduated cylinder here, and I just throw that out. Now this is the first shot that had a lot of the silt in it and a little bit of the alcohol. So we're going to pour that off as carefully as possible here. You can see I have a lot of silt down at the end. And it starts to flow forward, and just before it hits the tip I stop it. And so that's how much alcohol and silt I leave in this tube. And then to make up for the amount I've lost through evaporation and throwing out, I just top this guy back up to my max fill line. 